Okay, this is uh, going to be something a little bit new for me. Uh, this is a video response, and this is the first time I've actually tried to do this, um, where I send a re video response to someone else's video. Uh, and there's been actually two going around, and this is the first one I'm responding to. Um, so it's called, Why Do You Collect? And the idea is I'm going to ask collectors questions, and we answer them, and get into our heads about why we collect, and you know, the reason behind it all. Um, so let's get right to it. And I'm not down in the Twitter room tonight for several reasons. Just a little easier to do it up here for uh, this particular portion. Um, so the first question was, let's see here, I had to write them down. Uh, the first question is, why do you collect? Uh, real simple, real basic, because it's fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of hobbies out there. Some people like football, sports, you know, baseball. Other people are into, uh, you know, gadgets and games and, you know, all that stuff. I happen to like Star Wars toys. Um, been collecting for a long time, off and on over the years. Um, and really, you know, got heavy back into it when the uh, when the special editions came out again. Uh, collecting uh, question number two: Do you collect to play or to decorate? Uh, well, anybody who's watched my videos uh, knows I love to set up displays and dioramas and create scenes out of the figures and toys and all that stuff. Um, you know, that's part of the fun of it. Um, so I actually do call that playing with the toys. Do I sit down and, you know, make the action figures act out scenes and stuff? No, I think I'm a little old for that. Um, but I do have some fun swinging around like the FX lightsaber, you know, playing with the little remote control toys and all that stuff. Sure, I play with them too. Uh, let's see here, question number three. Do you get a new item just to review it? Well, since I don't really do toy reviews, I have done a couple, but I'm not like a toy reviewer, I basically just show my collection, then obviously um, the stuff that I'm buying for my collection is stuff that I want, stuff that I like, um, and not because I want to bring it out and show it to somebody else and review whether it's a good item or a bad item. If I pay for it, I think it's a good item and it's something that I like. So, uh, Question number four, are you collecting to complete a collection or will you continue to add to it? Um, I've been collecting for a long, long time. Uh, there is no such thing as a complete collection, when it, especially when it comes to Star Wars. Um, I mean, you can complete a line of something, or you can complete a group of, say, you know, fast food toys that were released for a certain film, or uh, a line of action figures that come out um, on a given year. But there's no completing a Star Wars collection. Um, and I really am not a completist, never have been. I get what I like, the, le the rest I, I leave sitting on the shelf, and I you know, from, I have a lot of stuff, uh, obviously. You know, anybody again who's seen my videos can tell. Yes, I do have a lot of stuff. Um, but for all the stuff that I have, there is a lot of stuff that I leave sitting on the pegs too. Um, let's see here. Question number five: Do you ever think you will stop collecting? Okay, this is a good one um, because I've heard a couple of people say, "Well, maybe when I get older, maybe when I grow out of it." Um, I'm 41 years old. I've never grown out of it. Um, nothing wrong with collecting toys. Nothing uh, embarrassing about it. Or you know, feeling that, well, once you grow up, you should stop collecting or you should stop playing with toys or whatever. Um, if it's fun, it's a hobby that you enjoy, absolutely, you know, collect as long as you want to. And I will probably be collecting until I am old and gray and, you know, hobbling around the nursing home in my Star Wars walker. Um, do you collect, last question, do you collect something for its value or to resell in the future for a value? Uh, absolutely not. Um, Sure, there's a lot of old vintage stuff out there that's probably worth a ton of money if you look through the catalogs or on eBay. Um, money doesn't concern me. Uh, it never has, never will. I buy for fun. If it's an item that I like, it's an item that I enjoy, I don't care if it's worth anything 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now. Um, and most of the stuff that is out nowadays, kids, I hate to burst your bubbles, but for all you guys out there that are buying, you know, multiple versions of the same figure because you want to keep one mint in the box so you can go to college you know in 20 years and pay for all your bills and stuff it's not going to happen um take a look at what happened to the episode one toys they're all out there now for next to nothing you can get episode one figures they're not worth anything i'm finding them cheaper than what the original sticker prices were on them at, uh, at this point so no i absolutely do not collect for uh, value or possible resale value i collect what i like because I think it's cool and it's fun toy to have. Um, so that's about it. I hope uh, that gives you a little insight into why I collect. And I know there's a few other ones 
uh, video responses that I will try to get to in the near future. Um, and feel free to post your own responses as, uh, as you wish. Thanks for watching.